exposing the cabal, the dark forces that are controlling your life. What's up everybody? I am the one they call Shadow, leader of the Shadow Riders Army. Back at it again with another episode of Shadowcast. Today we're gonna to be talking about dark forces, unseen forces that are controlling your life, whether you know it or not. We're also gonna talk about the cabal, the meaning of the cabal. Everybody is talking about uh, these conspiracies that there is this interdimensional group of entities that's controlling us, or even better, the cabal is a group of Illuminati members who are privately conspiring against us all. That may or may not be true. As we all know, there's a ton of secret societies out there, but over here, in my kingdom, we like to take shit apart and dissect it and see what it's really about. So first, let's take apart the word cabal. Cabal, like if you look up the definition of cabal, it's simply a small group of individuals or people or entities that conspire and plot and plan in secret. That's all it means. So another word for cabal could be a faction or a clique, right? We all got cliques and circles that we hang around and we get together and we do what? We plot and we plan, whether that be for good or bad reasons. People say this cabal has uh, ulterior motives. They have um, intentions that are not pure for the rest of the world and for society. Now that may be true, but over here, we like to take full responsibility of our realities here. And I've adopted a saying that you never externalize your power. So by me giving fuel to that reality that there is a cabal and they manipulating and controlling us in secret societies. I'm so powerful of a creator. Once I speak that and I believe it and I put emotions behind it, it becomes true. Now, when you multiply that times a hundred thousand people, a million people, a few hundred million people that live in the United States that believe in, in bullshit that they're fed through a mass media, more on that later, then it becomes an actual reality through the power of our subconscious mind creating our reality. So yes, there are cabals, and yes, they could be planning evil shit against us, but does that, eat, does that belief give you power or does it control you? So that's another thing that I've learned. Beliefs are here for two reasons. Either a belief is here to empower you or it's here to control you. And once a belief controls you, you serve it. It's your master and we don't want that. We want our beliefs to serve us so that we have the power to create our own reality. You know what I'm saying? All this spiritual shit what good, is, what good is all this spiritual shit? Left hand path, right hand path, Kabbalah, uh, astrology, magic, occult science, metaphysics. What good is all of this if you can't use it for your own self enlightenment and, and your own self uh, elevation and your own self power? If you can't use it all this information to empower yourself and become more powerful, more richer, more successful, and above all else, manifest your desired reality, then what good is it? You know what I'm saying? Once you figure out that, you, you become powerful and you can 
disarm some of the meanings behind some of this bullshit, right? So the cabal, yes, there is a cabal. But if we break down the definition of that word, all it is is a group of people plotting against or for something in secret. So now that I know that knowledge, I can have my own cabal. And my cabal can plot whatever the fuck we want to plot against in secret. And it may or may not cause a counterbalance to the power structure that other cabals are plotting. You know what I'm saying? Now I have the power because I, under, I broke down, I took all the fear out of the meaning of the word and I broke it down and I saw what it meant. You know, cabal is, uh, I did some research on cabal, so it comes from a French word, cabal, or cabal. If I didn't say that shit right in French, forgive me. I gotta work on my French. But then when you follow the, the etymology of the word further back, it comes from Latin and ancient Hebrew, which links it to the word Kabbalah. And we all know what, in the spiritual community, the occult community, we know what the Kabbalah is, right? You know what I'm saying? The, the Jewish, the Jewish mystery, mystery, uh, mystery system, right? The tree of life, the Kalipoff, the Kabbalah, all that's tied together. That word cabal comes from all of that. It's linked. But when you uh, when you subscribe to spookism and superstition and conspiracy theories without doing your own research, you fall victim uh, into whatever emotional trip they're gonna take you on. But once you just break this shit down and examine it and take it apart and dissect it, you realize it's just meanings. It's just words. And yes, there may be energy attached to these words and these meanings, but once you understand how to manipulate that energy, you can quickly take it and reform it and shape it to what you want it to be. Right? So speaking about the dark forces that control your life, right? These frequencies and these emotions that the powers that be, let's call them that, use against you, they understand something that you don't. But I'm here to share the secret with you, right? And very, and very wicked shit, right? Very demented, diabolical shit. You know, it goes back as far as the Willie Lynch syndrome. If you don't know who Willie Lynch is, look him up. But he basically came out with a manual and, a, and a, a, a methodology to train slaves back in slavery times during, uh, in the United States, to train slaves through um, a lot of diabolical uh, psychological and physical uh, methods that abuse the human to the point where it cracked the psyche, evil shit. Um, in my opinion, some other human might not think that it's evil, you know, but from my perspective, being of African-American descent, my ancestors went through that shit. Now, the dark forces that control them, they still use the same methods, but on a more psychological way these days. And that's how you, so, that's how you program a subconscious mind, through symbols, trauma, and repetition, right? Peace to Brother Bobby Hibbitt and Brother Patty for the knowledge of that. They control you and program your subconscious mind without your consent through using symbols, trauma, which is a big one, and repetition. So these slave masters of the past and present use that knowledge. They traumatize you. Before, usually they're traumatizing children before they have a, a chance to become adults so that they can build the, the fortitude in their mental structure 
to analyze things and break them down and realize what's not for them and what's for them. You know what I'm saying? So if you get a child early, you traumatize that child with uh, psychological abuse, rape, uh, violence, uh, broken homes, all this shit. That's traumatizing, right? Furthermore, when they show shit on the news, the mass media, images that shock you, it could be of a mass genocide, it could be of a war going on, it could be, uh, you know, somebody getting attacked in public, it could be anything, any type of domestic violence. Those are traumatic experiences that your mind is taking in, right? You got traumatized. So they, they hit you with the symbols, then they traumatize you, create an emotional response that that um, that response, that whole seed gets stored into your DNA, your body. It, gets, it takes a snapshot. And if you had a bad time from that experience, that snapshot that your, that your mind and your body takes says, okay, when this happens, we need to flee. We need to, we need to fight, flight, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? You're being programmed. And they were so slick with it that they got you to traumatize yourself. So first they traumatize you to interrupt your patterns and get control over you through emotion. Now they program you to continually traumatize yourself. Oh, I'm not good enough. Uh, you know, I, I deserve this fucked up relationship. I deserve to get cheated on. I get, I deserve it. You know what I'm saying? You talk, you traumatize yourself when you say bullshit like that. You know what I'm saying? These hoes for everybody. Niggas ain't shit. Um, ain't no good men out here. Bitches ain't shit. Hoes ain't, you know what I'm saying? You traumatize yourself. You, you've been programmed to repeatedly traumatize yourself. So I'm gonna ask you, now that you know that secret, how can you untraumatize yourself? How can you select the reality that you wanna see and be selective of what you give your attention to? And reprogram yourself. That will nullify all the dark forces that control you. Once you just realize, once you become aware, first of all, of what's being done to you, because what you don't know can't hurt you. But once you once you do know it, once you know better, you do better. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Pops, they rest in peace. You probably don't know who Pops is, but I do. Talk to him a lot. Anyway. What I'm trying to show you is once you are aware of the dark forces that may or may not be controlling you. If they are controlling you, you certainly do need to be aware of them. Once you are aware of the dark forces, now you have the power to take your power back Stop externalizing your power and giving power to them and give the power to yourself. Once you give the power to yourself, once you become self-realized and self-actualized, you realize that you are the creator of your own reality, you can now control those dark forces and have them do your bidding. You can control the light forces and have them do your bidding. It's all what you want to do. Once you decide what you want to do, how the reality looks like that you want, you are in control. You're in control. Now you control your frequency. Now you control your vibration. Now you control your emotions and your feelings. Now you control your thinking. And now we have took back the control of the realm of cause and what comes after a cause an effect where is the realm of effect this physical world we live in what is another word for effect your actions you take back control of your actions you make sure they line up with everything else now those dark forces no longer control you. You are aware of them. They have to bow down to you and answer to you.
Anyway, I know I went deep on that one. This has been another episode of Shadow Cast. I am the one they call Shadow, leader of the Shadow Riders Army. And before I go, I gotta do my plugs real quick. If you need me to jump on your song and turn it all the way up, link is in the description. I will play saxophone on it for you. I will do vocals for you. I will help you promote it on all the social media platforms where you release it, on Spotify and all the streaming platforms. We will go in it together. I do dope features all the time. I've helped countless other artists. And I know I can help you too. If you would like that, for a very modest fee, you can patronize me for that service. Link in the description. Also, if you would like to listen to my music directly from me, download it directly from me, so you don't have to depend on streaming platforms. You can play it on your device at any time. Link in the description to buy my digital album bundle. All right? If you would like to join my fan club, the Shadow Riders Army fan club, filled with like-minded individuals who all are on the same frequency, who all want to see a better world. The loaders, the dreamers, the chosen ones, the black sheep, all of us. We got our own community and we see each other. You know what I'm saying? It's a safe place for people who may have been outcasts and society deems different, right? Along with the dope community, you're gonna get music from me. Uh, you're gonna get exclusive content. You're gonna get discounts on merch, uh, meet and greet opportunities, private live streams, studio sessions, practice sessions, and a whole lot more. All for less than a cup of coffee. If you would like to join my fan club, link is in the description, all right? So that's all I got for y'all today. I hope you enjoyed this episode, episode of Shadowcast. I know I went deep on this one. Um, y'all have a great day, and I'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace.